Shane Ray, yeah. got to ask this. In fact, Woody and I were there last night at the Broncos Auditorium, and, and the first three questions to the kid, and I felt mm -hmm. bad for him, were about the marijuana citation. Mm -hmm. um, when you hear about that, when you know that the Broncos drafted a kid, he's going to be living in this community, sure. and he has that on his record, what goes through your mind? Well, first thing I go, that goes through my mind is that we must remember, these are very young people who are being drafted. We forget that because it's such a high profile sport and there's big money numbers that are thrown around. But they just are young people and this is where we tend to make our biggest mistakes. He made a huge mistake. He's owned up to it. Um, do we shut the door on him? No. You 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 let him know what it cost him. He's learned. Yeah, and he, he, owned, he owned there. it last he, night. Yeah, he owned yeah, it. He, and, and, and say, now reset it and make sure it doesn't happen again, as John has talked about. And John, as you know, came up through those locker rooms. We have seen a lot worse in terms of NFL football players. Yes. And if marijuana and having a mistake of having a marijuana on his person being stopped after being stopped by the cops is his worst mistake, this young man has a bright future and uh, something so he should be able to come back from. I th that was such a great question. I just um, sitting here mesmerized <laughs> by that. What well, would you like to see them? I mean, I, I just said to him, you know, that was a good pick. Right. Top 10 guy right. fell down because of uh, a mistake he made. And, and I was thinking about it, all the mistakes I made. That's really why I was kind of, I was thinking about when I was in college. And yeah. I jumped into a swimming pool. And I mean, it wasn't like that, but I jumped into a swimming pool that had no water in it. Ouch. Because I, I don't know You were why. sober? Oh, of course not. <laughs> but, but, so it had no, but it had no the head injury. Actually, this is, you know how things flash through your mind? <laughs> This I, this came back. I'm 68 years old. So this was 50 years ago or something. I jumped in a swim pool with no water in it. I would have killed myself. There was one of those covers. Oh, <laughs> that's tarp, that's yeah. the only. Yeah. So when I jumped in, I went boom onto a tarp, and everybody says, "You're an idiot." Well, yeah, because you do idiotic things, what, and I I never jumped you know, in. Brings up a good like question, that. and I hope you don't mind me asking. What's the dumbest thing you did when you were a kid? Oh man, they're all kind of please, you know. <laughs> Give me one good one. Give Jump me one good one. Oh man. Oh. What is that? What? Forget about him. I'll, get, I'll you give you one. You give me one. So I, I lived next to a golf range, okay? And there were telephone poles lining the golf range. And mm -hmm. at the bottom of the telephone poles, they used to put tar on them. I don't know why, but there was tar. Mm -hmm. Well, I wanted some golf balls. So I got on the ground and I leaned and I tried to reach, un I rested against. The telephone pole and I leaned put my arm under tried to grab some golf balls I got up and there was tar all over oh, wow. my hair yeah well, I had serious. to get I had to get a crew cut yeah good luck with that it was <laughs> devastating it was absolutely devastating yeah so couldn't get a, a date for months I think there, was a, there was a fairy tale about that I think <laughs> yeah I, I have one other and, it, and it's like it and that that's really what I was thinking about I was a senior in college I went out with a freshman and she said do you have any marijuana and in growing up in the South, marijuana wasn't the issue. Jack Daniels was the issue. <laughs> yeah. And I said, no, I don't. She said, well, I happen to have some. Would you like to smoke a joint? Well, at that point, I would have, I would have eaten tar <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if it yeah. would have helped me in, in the process. And I did, and I saw snakes coming down the wall, and, and I said, that's enough of that. I, you know, I, so that was the end of marijuana. Yeah. But, because of the situation I was in and there, and I'd never tried it, and so we we do stuff like that. That's, right. that's what it was. Well, we all make mistakes. You know, in college, I, we had a boring, boring English professor, and uh, he always used the overhead projector, and he sure. always put overhead projector. And so finally, we're all in the class waiting on him one day, and I decided I can't take this overhead presentation anymore. So I decided to go and dismantle, dis in, disable the, this, the overhead projector. And just as I got the light bulb out and started reaching my hand out, he walks into the Ooh. room. And, and he's like, so you're trying to end my... Pre anyway, I had to go walk and get a whole new overhead projector uh, for the class. And pretty embarrassing. But, but what you were Not doing, a bad punishment. Though. Not I mean, a bad it could punishment. have been a lot worse. But I would know? say that was showing leadership. You were actually <laughs> doing 